Now, back in uh, 1986, the BBC launched its Doomsday Project, aiming to record our everyday life for future generations. Over a million people took part, many of them school children. But it was all a bit of a damp squib, really, because within months, the technology involved became obsolete and the information was lost. Until now, here's our science correspondent, David Gregory. We came to talk to the experts at Staffordshire University about the Doomsday Project, but they had a surprise for us, an original Doomsday machine. How did you find this Doomsday kit? It was a chance conversation yesterday with a colleague and the lady with whom she shares an office said, oh, I've got one of those, it's in a box on top of that cupboard, and pointed to the top of a cupboard and there it was sitting in a very, very dusty box. And it's almost working. With more time, we'll get it all working properly. Um, but we managed to get some of the, uh, the data out and, and looked at some of the pictures with the tracker ball yesterday. But... I was wondering if I could come and ask you some questions about the Doomsday Project. In 1986, over a million people contributed text, pictures and even video to the Doomsday Project, all preserved on... A video disc. And this is one of the original set of Doomsday discs. Uh, two nice double-sided shiny laser discs, which came in this rather lovely, oh, shiny box, which today comfortably holds a laptop. And after all this effort, they heard nothing. It really went out of use because of the advance of technology, and also it was really quite expensive for its time, although it was top of the range stuff, but it cost several thousand pounds, and uh, most schools couldn't afford that. With almost no one able to afford these machines, no one saw the results of their efforts until now. The results can be seen on this new website. No laser discs or doomsday machine required. Did you notice the phone that little boy was using? Oh, no, That's fantastic. a magnificent, great thing. Uh, if you want to explore the BBC's Doomsday archive, you can find it all online at bbc.co.uk slash doomsday. It's all very exciting, actually, and, isn't it? Yeah, in our newsroom right now, David is getting pretty excited about some of that Doomsday Project technology, aren't you, David? I am indeed, Mary. Uh, this is the uh, kit, the doomsday machine you saw in my report, and it is working. It's been working all afternoon, and with me is David Hodkiss, who you also saw in my report, who can show us exactly what it can do. David, take us through the doomsday machine. Certainly. So what we've got here is a map of the UK, and if I click on the southern half, and then perhaps click into roughly where I live, around the Stafford area, okay. see if I can pick it up. Oh, need to go across a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. The exciting live technology from the oh, 80s. It is There's these so great slow. pauses. Oh, it's zoomed in. I'm sorry. OK, let's go for uh, what we've got here. Let's go for Burton on Trent, because that's a nice place. OK. Now, I should say that the BBC did give so, a, an hour long primetime programme to demonstrate this, and you've got one minute 20 seconds. I've got one minute 20 <laughs> seconds, yes, thank you. So, um, if, here we we, go. if we now look at some photographs which are in the system. And we've got some lovely photos. Can we? I love how long it takes. Oh, it's so slow on times. But you've got to bear in mind, this was cutting-edge technology when it came in. That's a Landsat photograph, which oh, isn't right. very helpful. And with some false, false colours. colour on it. Oh, and, there we go. And there's, there's a night. Oh, there's Litchfield. So. From the air. From so the air. all of this, at the time, was absolutely extraordinary. This was cutting-edge technology. And I remember watching this on being demonstrated on Tomorrow's World as a young man, and it just astounded me. And the facility now to, to actually work with it and interact, it's absolutely wonderful, it's lovely, but it, you've got to remember it's old equipment and it's a bit delicate. And very briefly, for people seeing their homes, their towns on a computer, that was completely novel and new. Oh, heavens, yes. I mean, these days we've got Google Maps, we've got live webcams. This was an independent system. It didn't connect. The World Wide Web hadn't been invented. The internet was there, but... There was, the concept of connectivity was just not there. This was a standalone machine. Thank you very much for that, David. Now, I have to say, all this information on these silver discs is now available online. We have all the details coming up for you. Uh, David, thanks very much indeed. There's plenty more about the uh, Doomsday idea on the website of your BBC local radio station. All of them will have coverage of the Doomsday project this week. Yeah, definitely worth a look. Now, gardeners, 